In this video, I'm gonna go over my favorite plugins for Paint.net. For me, I can't live without these plugins. They are so useful that I use them pretty much every time I work on something. And if you don't know what plugins are, they expand the features of Paint.net, so you can get more functionality out of it. And that's all I have to say, so let's get into it. If you're making a YouTube thumbnail or just about anything that contains text, you probably want to use Drop Shadow, so you can uh, customize your text and make it easier to read. So I'm gonna add a new layer, and then I'm gonna add some text, pick a font, then type something like that. And then I'm gonna go to Effects, Object, and Drop Shadow, and here I can customize it. Uh, so these are, well, the offset, so you can offset the shadow if you want to do that, and reset here, and this will widen it. And this will blur it, so I can have a very sharp drop shadow or outline at this point. Uh, and I can like offset it if I want to. Or I can like have it very blurred and very subtle. I can also like do that, maybe have it a different color. You can customize it a, a lot. And of course you don't have to only use it on text. You can use it on pretty much anything. So I'm gonna add a new layer and demonstrate that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Drop shadow. And as you can see, works just as well. Okay, so here we have an example of when Color Balance Plus can be useful. So we're gonna go to Adjustments and then Color Balance Plus. And here you can do some color grading. You can pick the tone balance and then maybe make it more blue, more yellow, more green or whatever. And here are the reset arrows like that so let's say i want uh, i want the highlights to be more red kind of like that and then just click ok so now the highlights are more red uh, but i still want to do some more so i'm gonna go back and now i'm gonna do the midtones i want the midtones to be cyan hmm kind of like that and then just press ok and then i also want to do the shadows so i'm gonna go back a third time and pick shadows i think i want them actually magenta and a little bit of blue like that so here was before and now after it gives the photo a whole different vibe okay so let's say i want to cut this apple out but i can't really do it with the, the regular magic wand it doesn't really select the, only the apple it selects everything else so that doesn't work and using the lasso select is very tedious i have to be very precise with it and if i mess up i have to yeah, it's you have to like go back and redo it and it's it's just a mess So instead we're gonna use alpha cutter go to effects object and TRS alpha cutter and here we can uh, Zoom in by just scrolling just left click around the apple to cut it out Just make a few points you can zoom in a bit to be more precise with it. There we go now We're done. So just click ok and there you have it. Okay with this one you can have uh, quite a bit of fun with it uh, So just go to effects tools and uh, liquify and here you can change the size and like basically drag around the image to distort it <laughs> you can change uh, the mode here like pucker to like oh my god <laughs> here are bloat so basically this is what people use in photoshop to like uh, uh, retouch themselves uh, to make them look pretty or something or you can distort yourself and make it quite horrifying <laughs> so like that so this plugin is very good if you want to like uh, if you want to give your image a cool look you've probably seen the effect before it's called rgb shift or as in this case channel shift so go to effects as my garden tools and channel shift and set this to one now we can shift the x or y uh, value you can either drag it or just use the arrows here i prefer using the arrows because dragging it will drag it like a lot so i usually just use arrows here so that will create this uh, rgb shift effect which looks pretty cool i have now set it to one but you can change it to get different colors so that is pretty neat and you can also shift the y-axis of course so that looks pretty cool so that's my five favorite plugins in paint.net and as I said earlier, I use them almost every time I work on something. So in all my thumbnails and all my posters, I have used at least one of them. You can find all the plugins in the description so you can download them. And if you need help installing, I have a video covering that. And that's it for the video, so thanks so much for watching and bye!